Well, uh, you know, unfortunately, it does look like we're going to end a fiscal year for the eighth consecutive time in a row without an appropriation for defense. And as Secretary of Defense, I can only uh, 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 say in as heartfelt way as I possibly can how much this budget uncertainty creates uh, concern in the minds of our troops uh, about their futures, in, the, in our industry, about the stability of programs that we do together around the world in what we're doing. Um, and uh, so what I have been urging uh, is uh, that Congress stick with the bipartisan budget agreement. That is the basis upon which we submitted the defense budget, the bipartisan budget agreement of last year. And so I'm hoping that in the end, the, that will continue, that bipartisanship, which is the only way anything ever gets done and can be done in our system, uh, that some version of that will lead to a defense appropriation as quickly into the next fiscal year as possible so to, as to avert all that instability. And I also want to say in that regard, since there was an article about said a memo in the Department of Defense, and I, there are a lot of memos and I can't comment on a specific uh, uh, memo, but I, I do want to say that uh, you know I have with an excellent relationship with my colleagues on the Hill. This is a, a, a relationship of, 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 of great respect for people who also care very deeply about our security and our military. Uh, where I have uh, differences in, with them in the matter of this budget, that's no secret. I make no secret of that. I am, have been urging them not to depart from, and some of the legislation has departed from, that bipartisan budget agreement. And there's nothing partisan about that. I'm, I'm for, for the bipartisan budget uh, agreement. And I'm also strongly urging adoption of things that, ha that very few people in either party is in favor of, but that are good for our troops, like closing bases. I have to be in favor of those things as Secretary of Defense, because they're necessary to uh, have continuing to have the greatest military in the world and delivering what the taxpayer deserves for the taxpayer's dollar. And I'm very upfront about those things. And I realize, I know, I've read the Constitution. They will make the final decisions. But the only thing I can do is try to argue as respectfully, uh, um, but uh, uh, and it, 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 as strongly as I can for what I think is good for our department and our military. I've always had a good hearing uh, uh, up there. People have always listened. I, re I respect that. I've shown up every time I've been invited for a hearing. I think it's very important. I try to communicate, but I don't hold back either when we have disagreements. And we're going to have disagreements, but we try to do that respectfully. And they will have the last word, that I understand, but I hope that I'll continue to be heard and that they'll be going back in the direction of the bipartisan budget agreement. Thank you, sir. I'm going to have Thank the you. cameraman uh, take